Farah, Beirut is home to Hezbollah, an Iran-backed political party and militia that Canada and other Western allies consider to be a terrorist group. And today we saw the first signs of Hezbollah supporters itching to get involved. Dozens of rockets and shells rain down on three Israeli positions in a disputed part of Syria's Israeli-occupied Golan Heights on Sunday. Hezbollah saying the volley was in solidarity with the Palestinian people. The Israeli military returned fire with Hezbollah reporting several injuries. Israeli tanks are rolling into the region to shore up defenses. At a rally in Beirut, Hezbollah leaders saying they salute Palestinian resistance factions. Hezbollah fought a war with Israel in 2006, and tensions have regularly flared since. Praise for the Gaza attacks is also coming from Iran, with fireworks in the streets. And lawmakers chanting, death to Israel. We haven't yet seen direct evidence that Iran was behind this particular attack or involved, but the, the support over many years is clear. The Gaza attacks are a major setback for peace efforts in the region. Just last month at a meeting in New York, the Israeli prime minister and U.S. president seemed optimistic about forging new ties in the region, working on a diplomatic deal with Saudi Arabia. I think that uh, under your leadership, Mr. President, we can forge a historic peace between Israel and Saudi Arabia. And I think such a peace would go a long way first to uh, advance the end of the Arab-Israeli conflict, uh, achieve reconciliation between the Islamic world and the Jewish state, and advance a genuine peace between Israel and the Palestinians. The negotiations had included Israeli concessions to the Palestinians, in addition to U.S. security guarantees and civilian nuclear help sought by Saudi Arabia. It's no surprise that those opposed to the efforts to normalize relations between Saudi Arabia and Israel, and more broadly, uh, to normalize Israel's relations with countries uh, throughout the region and beyond, <laughs> who opposes it? Uh, Hezbollah, Hamas, uh, and, uh, and Iran. So to the extent that this was designed to try to derail the efforts that were being made, um, that speaks volumes. Antony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary of State, was going to discuss all of this with the Saudi Crown Prince next week during a regional tour. Saudi Arabia is now calling for restraint and urging the international community to activate a credible process leading to a two-state solution between Israel and the Palestinians. Farah? Crystal Gamansing in Beirut. Thank you, Crystal.